Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down My Chemical Romance right now. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, I really appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. Thank you so much for that extra support. All right, let's get into it. All right, I'm going to start with real basic power chords to show you the structure of the song. So it's an E power chord. I'm just going to use the one finger for right now. So it goes from E to a B, and for right now, I'm playing it on the second fret, A string power chord. The same chord is on the seventh fret, E root power chord. One advantage of playing it up here is that it, it's easier to stretch your pinky out, um, but also you're having to leap over, so um, you're going to have to decide what works better for you. So check it out. Here we go back to E, 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 E. That's a classic progression using what's called the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Um, so one more time, and you got that A power chord, B power chord, E power chord. It's only those three chords. Here we go one more time. One, two, three, four. E, 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 E. Now, you could play an E power chord right here. You could even get the open E in there. And then on that same fret is the B power chord. So I'm just showing you a different way. Uh, a is on the fifth fret. A, and back to the C here. Those are two nice little options, power, power chord stuff. So now check out the opening though. So the first thing we do is we add this little bit of the blues. You don't really think of My Chemical Romance as a blues band. Um, definitely not. But when you play the E power chord, you go dun, 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 and you got the open E ringing out with that. Two, two, four, two, palm muting. And then a little three hammered to four. And you can just hold that power chord, but we're hitting that D string. But instead of that, you got the open B and high E, which is part of the E power chord. So instead, you can go. So I'm just hopping over and doing an up strum on that. The B power chord, you can add that little riff right there. So if you go. So I'm doing two, four. And then pinky is having to stretch up to six on the D. That's why I showed you the power chords first, because you can definitely have fun and play this song without this extra stretching. But And then I'm just adding that lick that like we did in E. So it's actually you could slide or hammer from five to six on the A string. And then I'm hitting. 
the fourth fret D and G. The A power chord, you don't have to do any finger change because you have the open A string. And then two, two, four, two on the D string with the open A ringing out. And then that three, four, and then the D and G on the second fret, like that. So all together, enjoyed the lesson thank you again for your continued support feel free to request stuff in the comments below and of course i appreciate you subscribing here to the channel and also checking out all the bonus links below thanks again we'll see you later